here to see how a pediatric mini PCM is done. Here is a six year old female child with a right renal pelvic calculi of size of 1.1 centimeter. It was a single stone with a hound's foot units of 1500 and also had a mild hydronephrosis because of the stone. Plus the investigations like urine routine and CBC were within normal limits. Here is a CT showing the calculi and you can see the same in the axial section. Here is the position of the child. The child is placed in prone position after the placement of the ureteric catheter. You could choose to use a bolster underneath, but here we chose not to use the bolster. Once the patient is positioned in prone, this is how the CM is placed over the patient and its monitor. And here is a monitor of the scope. And once the position is done, this is how the puncture site has been chosen with the posterior calcial approach. Here is the spine and here is the posterior axillary line. You tend to prefer not to go anterior to posterior axillary line to avoid inadvertent injury to the of the colon. And here you can see the axis is complete. With the lower pore approach, the guide wire is passing into the lower pole, into the pelvic allicin system and finally into the ureter. As the axis is gained into the pelvic allicin system, the tract is dilated appropriately. Here we have dilated the tract up to 16 French and a 16 French axis sheet was left over. After that, the process of stone fragmentation begins for which we have used a thulium fiber laser with the energy settings of 1 zool and frequency of 10 hertz, compiling a voltage of 10. After that, the stone fragmentation begins. Here we are using a 12 French nephroscope using a thulium fiber laser. This is how the stone is fragmented. And Using trifrong forceps, the stone is retrieved for stone analysis. Once that is, once the, you can see this is the final picture here, which the 16 French axis sheet is left over, and you can hardly see any speck of calculi inside, and we leave a digestant at the end of the procedure. And here is the final appearance, where you can see the puncture site is less than a centimeter and we hardly placed any PCN at the end of the procedure. So technically it's a tubeless PCN. Child's catheter was removed after 24 hours and child was discharged after 48 hours. The child is awaiting stone analysis and once the stone analysis is available, we would be performing a specific metabolic evaluation based on the stone analysis. Thank you.